I'm going to take us into an angelic meditation that really does lift us up and bring us to that higher frequency <clears throat> because so many people on earth today are witnessing trauma <clears throat> whether they're suffering from hurricane or weather trauma or war in different parts of the world or watching someone they love suffer as they begin their journey of leaving the body I'm here to remind you that they are not in that pain, but us with our human eyes open, we are absorbing that pain. And yet we don't need to, we don't need to carry that. That is not ours to do. And so I will now, <clears throat> I will bring us through a moment of healing and meditation. Ah, so we now close our eyes and we feel these light energies of the divine beings lifting us up, even laughing in our ears going, come and play with us, come and dance with us, come and laugh with us. All of those energies are higher than the human energy of pain and suffering those frequencies <clears throat> are available to everyone so in this moment we sit now trusting that the angels are lifting us above it so i'm going to bring you through a little meditation to rise above the body and then we will let the angels take us to play so as the healing purple light of divine energy pours down through the top of your head, it lifts you above human memories, human visual disturbances that are staying with you, <clears throat> audio disturbances that are staying with you. All of that only exists in the lower realms of the human mind and this gorgeous purple healing light washes down through all of that erasing it shifting it up restoring you to your angelic resonance you are not a human being you are a divine being you have only temporarily taken a human journey, but it is not yours to bind yourself to. Your higher self, your greater self, is far above the human eyes that watch the earth realm unfold in front of you. When trauma is brought to your door, you can experience it as a human at first. You may cry, you may <clears throat> feel devastating sadness or grief, but you are not meant to stay in that. You are meant to lift above it with a wide open heart, trusting that even in those moments of darkest pain, the first responders, the angelic beings, are lifting up those whose bodies appear to be suffering greatly. They are already held by the divine beings. They are already brought into the God consciousness. And so knowing that humans on earth feel heavy in the dense energy, we allow this purple light to move down through every chakra of our human selves purifying it, <clears throat> especially working with throat chakra first to move out the words that humans say that are so painful and disturbing that is not our divine self speaking. So in this moment, our throat chakra <clears throat> opens wide to only speak from the higher soul to only know the words of the divine frequency. And the purple light continues down 
dropping the burden of human pain off of the shoulders, letting it flow, ah, moving it out. <clears throat> and the human body now begins to feel lighter, begins to know that higher frequency. And now the heart chakra opens wide, knowing that its only true nature is the state of unconditional love. And in this moment, <clears throat> we aligned freely with that unconditional love of the God source, the highest frequency. And we bring our earth beings and our earth self up to that higher frequency of unconditional love. There is no suffering in this higher frequency. So we take any memories that we are holding on to and we offer them up now to this higher frequency of unconditional love and light and we see them <clears throat> evaporate. Those visual memories are evaporating. The auditory memories of suffering being brought up now to the higher realms where they too evaporate in this moment. And the physical trauma of being in the body, a witness to physical suffering. Now we bring that physical sense of trauma that we absorb with our empathy, with our compassion. We lift it up to the God source and let the angels and the God source evaporate. We feel lighter now. And we move the purple light down and let it move and work through the abdomen <clears throat> where we tend to store our painful memories. <sighs> this purple light washes through the abdomen now, clarifying it, releasing it, <clears throat> cleansing it of trauma. Ah, oh, like a beautiful bath in the beautiful healing pools of the divine. Washes through us. We feel restored, nurtured. <clears throat> and now the purple light continues down through the hips, the human hips that carry us and yet feel fragile at the same time. We restore them with golden rods of pure golden light. So they feel free to move and walk and run without any pain or fear in the human realms. And the purple light continues down through the legs that carry all humans <clears throat> through every trauma. This purple light now moves down, clarifying that you have legs of golden light they carry you so easily <clears throat> through your painful moments and lift you up, restore you. And now, all of your pain is released through the bottoms of your human feet. And you see and feel <clears throat> the purple light turning you back into your own angelic self knowing that all is well and suffering is not real. And 
now we bring the golden light from the God source down through the crown chakra, realigning you with the God source, with your freedom, your joy, your playfulness. And as this golden light moves down, we remember there is no suffering when the golden light is allowed to shine through us, unfettered. And so you see yourself standing in that place of trauma, but now you are emanating golden light from your body. And you are watching that golden light move out through you, filling the space around you, filling the trauma memories, replacing them with golden light, moving out into the world of suffering on earth, being the golden being that lands in that space of suffering and transforms it into light. Feel your power, <clears throat> the divine power in you, gifted to you by the God source and held up for you by the angelic beings. They are whispering in your ear now. <clears throat> Remember, it's easier than your mind wants it to be. You are a being of golden light when you open your heart and trust. Breathe in that knowingness. Remember who you are. And now I'm going to guide you <clears throat> through a very powerful quieting the mind meditation. And we're going to use a mantra that the Hindus have used for thousands of years. Om Namah Shivaya. Three words. Om Namah Shivaya. Those words are the sacred Sanskrit words. They mean, I connect to the divine, but we are not <clears throat> here to focus on their meaning. We are here to let their high frequency sound lift us above the earth realm. And so I will guide you through this. We begin by repeating those three sacred words, Om Namah Shivaya. Let them take a rhythm inside of us <clears throat> quietly. Om Namah Shivaya. 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 As your thoughts jump in, you will notice them. They are just from your mind. <clears throat> they are not from your soul. And you will smile about those thoughts. You will not feel any tension. <clears throat> and you will gently refocus your mind back 
to the sacred sounds. Om Namah Shivaya. 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 Continue doing this quietly. Om Namah Shivaya. Thank you.
Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. And the angels remind us that this is our path to peacefulness, to quiet the mind, to redirect it to sacred sound, sacred knowingness, that we are always held by divine beings. We are never alone walking this painful earth life. We are sacred beings. We are here on earth to remember this. Let your human trauma be your greatest moment of lifting into the sacred, no matter what unfolds around you. You use those sacred words, Om Namah Shivaya, lifting you up to a higher frequency of peace, of love, <clears throat> of knowing you are held by the divine beings. And the angels are now loving on us. They are carrying us through the day rocking us with our pain, easing it. They're reminding us that their only job is to comfort humans on earth. And that even those humans who appear <clears throat> to be in great pain and suffering, their soul is being lifted up, held by the angels. This is how humans can know peace on earth, to focus on the divine until the invisible world becomes visible for you. And then you see those angelic beings around you. <clears throat> you see those angelic beings around others and you nod at them with gratitude and you let them kiss your face, your hair and make you feel so loved and at peace and completely healed in your physical body, your emotional body and your spiritual knowingness restored. And in this moment, we begin to come back into the physical body because now we have learned the tool that we need. So take a breath back into the physical And again, and again. <clears throat> 